Hey everybody, it's Mama J and we are here with the last American Bandstand video. We got two packs to open and then next week we're going to draw the giveaway winner. So make sure that gives you one week from the day this video drops. I will put a final date here because I've got to have time to draw the winner and we will do a video for that. We'll give you like probably five days to finish up. At the end of that, we will do a video and there will be a winner. For somebody that took time to watch each video and comment about something in the video. If you're not interested in the contest, no worries. I appreciate the view. I'm bad at commenting, so I appreciate all and every comment. I'm really good at watching and really bad at commenting. <laughs> Anyways, let's get these last two packs open, see if we score anything good. Our first card out the deck is Jay Black. Trivia question on the back. In the early years, the two products were the main sponsors of American Bandstand. They were A, Dentine and Clarisol, B, Braille Cream and White Rain, or C, Wild Root and Vitels. Not a clue. Joe scene, just a random scene from the show. Light My Fire was a number one hit for this group in 67. They were A, The Dovells, B, The Rolling Stones, or C, The Doors. All right, loving the Lovin' Spoonful, another cool card. One of the first movies Dick Clark appeared in was A, The Young Doctors, B, Boys Night Out, or C, The Rebels. We got Mr. Dick Clark in the 70s. I don't think anybody should know anything or even be able to say they know anything about music unless you know who Mr. Dick Clark is. Legend has it that this teen idol was discovered by an agent while sitting on the front steps of his home in Philadelphia. One of his hits was Turn Me Loose. His name is A, Bobby Rydell, B, Frankie Avalon, or C, Fabian. Next card, ooh, we got Mr. James Brown. Now there you got one. That's fire. All right, let's see here. Which one of the following dances was banned from American Bandstand? A, the funky chicken, B, the dog, or C, the monkey? Paul Revere. The hit song Celebration was recorded by this group. This group is A, the Go-Go's, B, Men at Work, or C, Cool in the Gang. Could they make that any easier? Uh, we got Teddy Pendergrass. That's a pretty good one. The dance known as the stroll consists of two lines with dance partners in opposite lines. True or false? Nicole Larson. I'm, I'm not really sure. A popular fashion for girls in the disco era 70s was the A, twirl skirt, B, hoop skirt, C, poodle skirt. And then your get your country songs. All right, one more pack, one more pack. So when we do the giveaway video, we'll go down the statistics, statistics of which cards we scored, which cards were missing. Uh, this is probably not a set I will try to complete. But, you know, I always like to give the rundown of me buying a case, what I got out of the case, okay? Um, Melissa Manchester. Folk music became a very popular style of music during the 60s, the 70s, or the mid-50s. Gloria Gaynor. You can tell it's like from the 70s just by the whole view, you know. Uh, the British invasion of pop music began with the Beatles. This occurred in 68, 64, or 62. Frankie Valley. All right, Mr. Frankie Valley. All right, American Bandstand began broadcasting in color the same year The Doors hit a hit called Light My Fire. This year was 60, 67, or 65. And that is Frankie Valley. Then we got Mr. Dick Clark. The dance with the combination of two popular dances in 58 was called The Alligator, The Stroll, or The Cyclops. I don't know. So Dick Clark on the front. We got the coasters on the front of this one. The Motown sound first became popular on a national basis in the 70s, the 60s, or the early 50s. This is Maureen McGovner. McGov McGovner? I don't know who this is either. If I Had a Hammer was a big hit for the artist in the 70s. His name is A, John Mellencamp, B, Trini Lopez, or C, Tommy Rowe. I laugh because my dad walks around singing that song all the time. He just thinks it's funny. Um, the Hong Kong Show. A popular fashion for guys on American Bandstand in the early 70s was A, jeans and sweater, B, leisure suits, or C, turtlenecks. And Mr. Mick Fleetwood. 
from Fleetwood Mac. A fashion for girls known as the granny look became popular in the 80s, the 70s, or the 60s. All right, and get your country music, all right? So don't forget, next week we're going to do a giveaway. What's the giveaway? I don't know. Come find out. But if you want to be entered and you want a chance to win, and I'm going to tell you my giveaways never disappoint. I don't think I've ever disappointed anybody with a giveaway because I always try to do really good giveaways. You want to win something? You know, I can't guarantee it's something you like, but I can guarantee it's a good giveaway. So if you're commenting and watching these videos, you'll like the giveaway. All right. And don't forget, stick around, check out my Patreons. They can also be entered in this giveaway. Each one of them at the $5 or higher Patreon, all they have to do is comment on this video and say they want in the giveaway and they get in. Um, even if they didn't comment on the rest, they automatically get an entry just by commenting on this video because they are Patreons. So, but I don't want to put them in the giveaway if it's something they don't want. So they have to comment on this video, the last video, to let me know they want in the giveaway. Now, if they commented on all the videos and then they comment on this last video, Patreons can enter two giveaways because they'll get one for commenting on every video and one for saying they want in on the giveaway on this video. They'll get two entries. So that's the plus of being a $5 or higher Patreon. All right. Plus they also get their monthly giveaways and an end of the month giveaway. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget, stick around, check them out and if we get three Patreons extra each month, I'm going to do bonus giveaways. All right. And don't forget, come next week. Get your guesses. Get all your entries in. And you could end the giveaway. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.